honest. All of you are like office romance, you know, work husband, work wife. Let me tell you, the monkey will hit you the day that your work husband is your work ex. Mm. And that's the conversation we're having today. Being um, an ex-partner to someone you see every day, either at work, either around your hood, your neighbor. Wale wanapenda kuusiende mbali, unasema, ah, akotua pa inje, I can just go to their house, they can just come to my house. But now you've broken up and you have to see this bastard every day. Let me tell you, it is difficult, it is painstakingly annoying and most importantly it takes even longer for you to get over an ex that you see every day mm -hmm. but that's not to say that it cannot be done mm -hmm. or that it has not been done mm -hmm. and i'm trying to remember mm, have i ever been with a partner who i saw every day mm -hmm. Uh, and before I answer that question, I will mm -hmm. ask Turi. Mm -hmm. Have you ever broken up with someone and you had to see them like very frequently or even every day? I think my creator just loves me because I've never been put in such a situation. Mm. Um, even like anytime I break up with somebody, I never see them again. Mm. It's like they fall off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. I've never understood it, but I know they see me because I am a bad girl. They stalk <laughs> my Instagram. <laughs> yes, see me shining. Mm. They see me on billboards. Yeah, I'm that girl. But you know, I, I, I just, I've never had to be in a position where I've remained in contact or been at the same place where somebody I used to bump uglies mm. with is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like for me, my first lesson was my first love. high school, toto, ya kitoto. And we were neighbors. So obviously, nikienda kwa duka, I see this bastard. Nikienda wapi, I see this bastard. And mm. they see me. And I think the first couple of weeks, it's even harder because you see them and you have that kabaridi in your stomach. It's not even butterflies, it's just baridi in your stomach. Because mm -hmm. you don't know how to act, you don't know what to tell them, you don't know whether you go past them, you're, you're hoping that they say hello, but at the same time you're like, mm -mm, you broke my heart. Yani, that lesson, I took it with me in my adulthood. Now, I date you, ukio naishi kawangware, mimi nikiwa naishi kino. Please, tunaone ya wapi? Where? Eh? Yani, ukio naishi ruaka, mimi naishi si ukimau. Where will we meet? Where will we meet? I never go to the restaurants we used to go to. I ne never ever. Me, I'm done. I mm. break up with you, we break up fully, fully. We are done. It's complete. Mm. So I learned my lessons really quickly. But in case you and your bastard are still seeing each other, ah, here are some things you can do. To avoid your bastard oh, and to get over your no. bastard. Uh -huh. I, I, we were even together when, when you had come uh, for the shoot on my ends. Yeah. And then as I was shukaying a piki piki, oh. here is my ex. I was actually blocking traffic, <laughs> shukaying piki piki. <laughs> Kumbe, I am blocking my ex. Ay, ay, ay. And my ex in a, is in a slick black car. Ay, 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 big ay, ay, ay. German machine. My lord. Ay. Why have I remembered ah. that? <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, was a, was it was a dark day indeed. <laughs> nashuka, nashuka by scale. But then you didn't even say hi. Yeah, I, I had to. <laughs> of course I had. If I ran away, angejua. Angejua. I'm embarrassed. Mm. Nashuka, do this. Imagine. Anyway. That's the day you didn't take a taxi. Ah. That's the day you decided I'm in a rush. Come on. Hey. Kakomi was rushing. It is her fault. <laughs> Hey, yeah. and the way Turi came with, with her tail hey. between her legs, and yeah. like, hey, Kathami, let me tell you what just happened. We are just dying <laughs> laughter, laughter. Never date. Usimwa, usimwa. End uh, alihama. Alikuchona. Alikuchona. Uh, uh, why? Why is this talking you? Uh, so desperate, you know? Oh, gosh. So just desperate. <laughs> But yeah. anyway, here are some things you need to do once you actually uh, realize that you're done, done, done. And you're not going to get back together because that's point number one. We are never, we are never, ever, ever mm -hmm. getting back together. Taylor Swift. Number one, acknowledge. Hmm? Imenda, imenda. Kama imenda, imenda. Now, the first and most important thing is that acceptance. Accepting that, yes, we were okay, we had a beautiful relationship, but it has come to an end. Because it is through acceptance that you stop having those two anxieties of, oh, I hope he talks to me, I hope he texts me, I hope, I hope, I hope, what if he comes and hugs me, what if, what if, what if. Mm -mm. The what ifs are gone, straight out the window, you are accepting and you are now trying to move on. But if you do not acknowledge it, if you do not actually accept it, you are still in denial or in anger now every time you bump into this person you're angry calling them a bastard like me mm -hmm. but there's nothing wrong with calling them a bastard it's okay to be a bastard however it is important for you to move on the five stages of grief 
inahonga denial denial then anger then acceptance acceptance is the last one i think um bargaining is the the final one and then you accept now once you're done with all the bargaining telling yourself oh i should have done maybe i should have maybe if i climbed a tree and called him that one midnight he would have realized i love him maybe if i did uh, 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 you've gone through all the four stages of grief you are now at acceptance accept once you accept things start to look different true and also mastering detachment and we are always seeing this word being thrown around on the internet i'm going to be detached i'll detach myself from this situation but it actually takes a lot of work and it's not just like falling in love with like your neighbor or your colleague even people who are married and now have to be in contact and be civil to one another because for the sake of their children their children involved so i have to see my baby mama and my baby daddy even more move on with their relationship and are probably not even healed from the fact that we broke up. So now you practice and master detachment. Mm. And the meaning of detachment is I will not burden another person with my expectations. Ah, that was heavy. Of um of what I want them to be, but that I will accept them for the human being they are. Detachment means I will not place myself in the middle trying to arrange the outcome for others, but I will allow them, uh, I will allow others to, but, but that I will allow others to affect their own destiny. Babes, it, it's, it's as simple as that. Even, even if it's your baby daddy, don't be, you know, I want him to do this. I want him to do it in a certain way because I'm the baby mama. I deserve this. I think he should do this. I think he should pick up my child 6.30 on the dot. And if he doesn't, it's because he's seeing somebody else. Whether he's seeing somebody else or not, it's none of your business. Mm. Not anymore. You know, he could be late because of traffic. Mm. So just detach yourself from the situation. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. I mean, I'm a bear but that's detached mm. conscious uncoupling as well i think they go hand in hand conscious uncoupling is where you are fully breaking up with someone consciously it is at the foreground of your mind where you're like okay we are done with this relationship we are done with this relationship i am going to maintain particular boundaries and that is the most important thing first of all minimizing your interactions and maintaining boundaries because oftentimes you'll find that people who have broken up their exes they keep bumping uglies why because you're constantly around each other you're constantly texting each other you're constantly calling each other why are you speaking like what are we talking about what is there to talk about you had a whole relationship why didn't you talk about all those things while you were in the relationship why is it now that you feel the need to have these conversations about oh that day that you came home late i just wanted to know why you with somebody else had you actually started dating how quickly after our relationship did you start seeing other people why do you need all these answers why do you need closure there is something that is overrated it is closure closure is the most overrated thing in the world you do not need it you can give yourself closure mentally otherwise you give yourself the, to 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 another person's will and whims yani if you are constantly waiting for them to tell you that yeah it's okay we we broken up yeah you know i broke up with you because a b c d and e you will constantly be under their thumb because whatever they tell you can manipulate you into trying to sleep with them again it can hurt you so bad that you want to quit your job or get out of that area like you are giving too much power to someone else when you are claiming that you need closure so it's important for you to try and maintain boundaries if it is in fact your baby daddy or your baby mama mm -hmm. create an actual schedule if you are coming to my house you're coming to my house from from uh, this hour to this hour anything after that please wait until the next day nikama 8 to 5 you can only contact me from 8 in the morning to 5 p.m after that if you need anything else please call me the next day why when you start having conversations at night you start feeling the feelings that you used to feel oh can i come over now and now they're at your house at 10 o'clock in the evening oh the baby just fell asleep do you want to just stay over there's then no point of you going mm -mm. maintain very clear and distinct boundaries and number two maintain as little as uh, try and have as little interactions with them as possible having that separation actually allows for you to grieve quickly to get over this relationship quickly to move on even quick even quicker and then be able to be a sane human being because when you see somebody you loved you know the love doesn't go away the love is still there you just learn to forget it so please try and maintain boundaries and minimize your interactions with this person mm-hmm 
and also having a support system mm -hmm. having your friends who are there for, for you sometimes you just want to talk it out of your system having a friend who will just listen the whole time and be like okay i get it also as human beings we do learn from our mistakes but nine times out of ten we will learn and have a different perspective from the advice that other people see us because they are judging this from an unbiased point of view they are judging it from the outside looking in so like the advice somebody will give you it'll like oh okay i didn't think of it like that now i see it and if friends and family don't work there's always therapy there's mm -hmm. always paying somebody to actively listen mm -hmm. maybe your family and friends are not actively listening they just want to tell you they just want to say ah keep quiet we have had enough or go, they're on his side or her side yeah sometimes go they to love a therapist them. and say hey this is what i'm dealing with this is what i'm trying to navigate or get over kindly help me out with the process if therapy is too expensive because sometimes it can be too mm -hmm. expensive um there's always um, school of youtube Yes, there's always school on YouTube, which is very interesting. But you can also go to like your religious, like does your church have this op, um, services? Counseling I know sessions. at CTAM there is like free counseling and free therapy that you could try out. If your religio religious place does not have that, then maybe last resort, you can go to TikTok mm. and now listen to the, you, you'll have big vocabulary. TikTok gurus. Yeah, mm. but it's going to be something. <laughs> mm. And I think the most important thing, and I remember mm, when I was going through a very, very very rough breakup and i was telling my auntie about it i was crying about it i was having migraines about it she's like you know what here's some money go out call your friends go out have a really really good time and then we'll talk again tomorrow and at that moment you know you're in so much pain you're like but they you know they dumped me mm -hmm. but after a while after actually going out and spending time with other people and just having the time of my life without really caring about anyone else and getting hit on by new people you realize wow imagine it wasn't that deep Eh, Yanni, I can still I can still bag someone else. I don't need to be, you know, so invested in this person or in this end of this relationship. Mm. I can just move on. If you want to, you can even leave the church that you're going to if it's church where you guys have met. If it's a situation where you're working in this place, can you be transferred to a different department so that you guys are not seeing each other and you're over it? Give yourself a break. Mentally, physically, if you can, go on a vacation. And a two piga mwabada, pa kidogo kidogo. I'm a wende naivasha. I'm a wende ushago. It doesn't really matter. Climb trees, touch grass, be away from this person for a while. It really helps you with like, I don't know, re recalibrating and realizing that your world doesn't only revolve around this relationship. There's so much more about your life that is not hell bent on being with someone. And I think that um, the, the, the letting go of that mentality that your life was this person is the first stage of moving on. When you actually go outside, see other people, hang out with your friends, you realize how much you've actually missed them because you were in a relationship for so long, you forgot friends are actually fun. Mm -hmm. It's very important to be outside, take a mental break, change church. If it's church or go for a different service. Kama ulikuwa mnaenda service ya saa saba, anza kuenda ile ya saa moja. Kama ulikuwa unaenda, you know, uh, ya saa moja, anza kuenda ya usiku. Just try and reduce how much you're interacting with this person and give yourself a mental break. And most importantly, if you can, a physical break from this person. Mm -hmm. And eventually, after time, you will get over it. Like, if you just detach and move on, I've actually realized that, you know, splitting up, and taking a break is very important. And most of us do the opposite. You just want to spend every last minute with this person so you can somehow give your, wean yourself off of them. But it doesn't always work like that. So learn to find new avenues and new, uh, new ventures, new things that are important that will give your mind a break. True. Yeah, and uh, I think breaking up is hard. Let's not lie. I know we tell you all the time, leave him. Let that man go. K, 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 K. We know it's hard. We've all, well, I've gone through a few breakups. Mm. So I know it's hard. So I understand where you're coming from. I understand that it can take long. But the faster you get to the, the process of trying to get yourself away, the faster you actually get to the recovery. If you lock yourself in and just like brood about it, it will take a lot longer. Yeah. True, true, mm. true, true, true. true.
My name is Kothomi Kothomi. It was a pleasure seeing you, talking to you, and let us know what your thoughts are about breaking up. Are you still in the same ploti as your ex? In the same church as your ex? Are you still in the same environs as your ex? Mm -hmm. Let us know on 077-79366 or on our social media handles at Turife, at Kothomi Kothomi. We're going to see you tomorrow.